Real quick audio check, a quick check, just a quick check. One last quick audio check. Good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, a bit early today, let's go. Um, I just was doing quick audio checks because like I paired my headsets to the wrong device. <laughs> so we're good now, we're good. Um, going into week three of spring year two. So I know last week we did focus on trying to fill in um, or donate a few items to the comm center to see if we could get any items. So it's probably gonna be focusing on this week as well along with probably just grinding up money to be able to upgrade the house but we do have a kitchen so that should be like our because we do have our barns and our coops upgraded i just want to save up for a second um, auto collector for our coop yeah yeah we only have 10k so like we have nothing oh what the frick my controller's not working Okay, I just had to reset. It was stuck on that loading screen. Kinda sus. <laughs> it's weird because like I bought this shirt to purposely not fit because I like the open button look. But it's like almost a bit too tight on my arms. Oh, salmon berries. Okay, we can definitely do that. Hey, have we got George's leeks? Oh, she's gonna wrap them in a present? Oh my god, we have to see that today. Oh, she wants more leeks? Okay. We can do that. Okay, so let's go see what our weekly mission is. And then on the way back, we can pop by George's. Today, I kind of want to go in the woods and get salmon berries. Focus on that today. Anyway, I feel like my arms are like popping out of this shirt. I mean, I like the way it looks a lot, but it's a bit too tight almost. Oh, Emily? We can definitely do the crystal one because it's like, just give me five crystals. Nothing too difficult. Yeah, I think the house is open at eight, right? Yeah, eight. Okay. We can hang out here. 
I want to see what that cutscene is. I've never seen it because I've never finished the leak mission. It's weird how this like shows up in camera too because it's zebra print. It, I think it's cool. It's like one of those weird illusions. Like the chevron type prints. Where it looks grey when you're in motion. But it's still like a black white pattern. <gasps> oh my god! The Christmas miracle, guys! <laughs> What's the meaning of all this? Is this some kind of prank? We wanted to show our appreciation. Leak. My favorite. Just like mom used to make so many years ago. Hmm. Well... Well, that... Uh, I guess maybe I'm not as forgotten and ignores as, ignored as I thought. Thanks, hon. I made it all man's day. Aww. I know George is abrasive, but, like, he's actually really sweet. Evelyn. Evelyn is such a pretty name. Oh, he loves leeks with eggs. Oh my god. Okay. So we can go ahead, search the wood, or the woods, <laughs> for wood and salmon berries, and then head back to the farm and plant some crops. That's the game plan for today. Because if the weekly mission is just giving Emily crystals, like I think it is, then that's going to be easy clap. We can do that tomorrow when we head into town to give people gifts. Oh, what's this? How'd I get this? Oh, frick, dude! How did I get that coffee machine? It's a game changer, man. I've never gotten that, but if it makes a cup every morning, we can, like... Be, like, Sanic all day. It's actually really cool. It must have been a gift from the mail, maybe. I love raspberries, but I hate how the seeds get stuck in your teeth because I usually will get like strawberry goo goo goo, but they had raspberry and I was like, oh, that sounds good. So I got it. And like, it tasted like more fake flavoring than like real raspberries. Like I was kind of disappointed. And there weren't even that many seeds, but I still got hella seeds stuck in my teeth right now. Okay, we can go ahead and answer our first question of the day. Will people work more or less in the future? Well, if you ask anyone who is pro <laughs> against unemployment benefits, they're saying people aren't working enough. But honestly, based on just um, automation and the advancements of like AI technology, it depends on like what you consider working. Like, I feel like Machinery and technologies and factory work make modern comedies accessible for everybody in terms of like price points and that type of thing. But like, yes, there will be a less of a demand for physically laborious work, but there will be higher demand for people like coders, technicians, repairmen, that type of thing. So I guess my answer would be, I think there's just amount enough work just not as much physically strenuous work let's get another question Kira. what is your favorite city or country frick i haven't traveled much but um Let's see. I really like the downtown Tacoma area, like just the main street. 
I like it a lot. There's a lot to like look at and stop by. But, like the rest of the decal is kind of icky, so we don't talk about that part. <laughs> Cause like. It's been a while since I've like gone out, gone out, but like the last time I went to Tacoma was like on one of the spontaneous bus trips to where like I just needed to like get out of the house for a day, you know what I mean? And it was during um, Pride Month a couple years ago, and they had like little pride banners on all the street signs and stuff. And I was just sitting on a bench and I was thinking, I was like, it's, it's amazing how far um, just people in general have become in terms of accepting people who are different from you know and it's amazing to me how even though there is still some bigotry we're a lot better than where we were years ago like i've thought about like if i ever were to have like a gf or a partner and i know people are have different opinions on like if you should show like pd in public and for your own safety, if you feel like you're not in a safe enough area to do so, then, you know, keep it hidden for a bit, but... I wouldn't mind holding hands in public. I think that's so cute. Like, I know what people will- I've seen, like, posts online where, like, oh, people stare at me all the time, but it's like, I'm just looking at you because I'm so, like, happy. Like, whenever I see, like, um in public for like a queer couple I'm just like oh my god it's so cute <laughs> I know when I was in high school there was like a few uh, LGBTQ couples and they'd like hold hands in the hallway and we're just like oh my god it's so cute okay, we've gotten a quite a significant amount of salmon berries because usually what I'll do is I'll either jam them or I will use them for energy because they, they give an adequate amount of energy that way I don't have to use any of my crop crops yeah because I got 129 she My favorite meme is to say is still sheesh. Like I know it's like dead. I, I don't think it's dead dead, but like oh my god, it's so funny. Cause I know like visual memes were like the whole start of like meme culture, but like auditory memes, god tier. Okay, we can go in and head home because we got as much wood as we can. Two of five, not bad. Ooh, one more bush. Oh, she's close. Shoot. I think we got one rabbit last week, yeah? Frick, I did not mean to hit that. Get another question queued up. Oops, why did I click the home button? Dodge. What would be your dream job? This is a really hard question. Because I'm not sure about y'all, but when I was in school for like the yearbooks, they'd ask the kindergartners and then the sixth graders what their dream job would be. And like all the kindergartners would say like firefighter or princess. <laughs> Just like so stupid to say princess. Um, but I think I put artist when I was in kindergarten because like I was really crafty. Like I'm still fairly crafty, but it, not as like artsy as it was before when I was younger. And then in sixth grade, I put artist and then fashion designer, which is like the funniest thing because like I'm not fashionable. <laughs> like I was never considered cool in school that type of thing so like it's funny to think that i wanted to be a fashion designer um like as of now just thinking about jobs that i'd enjoy 
Like right now I'm studying graphic design, so obviously something in that field I think I would enjoy. But it's just the, I guess, well roundedness you can have as a designer because every company will need a graphics team. They will always need an advertising department. Like you need someone to create infographics, someone to create like creative briefs, that type of thing, meeting itineraries. There's always going to be a demand for it. Just the coffee. But I think I would like to do something in production. Granted, like graphic design is in the production process. If you think about like whatever projects are being done. I know people are always like, I want to make movies, but there's so much more that you can apply your creative skills to. Like, as I said, everyone's going to need a graphics team. Everyone's going to need like, you could do freelance. The thing that I find so difficult with just content creation in general is having to do everything yourself in terms of like, you have to think of concepts, you have to think of ideas, you have to design overlays, you have to think of like, quote unquote, marketing campaigns. Like right now I'm putting a lot of my personal time into editing clips into or editing clips into VOD that I can repost to like YouTube and TikTok. Mainly because like discoverability is a lot better than Twitch. Which is fine, that's just how it is for the time being. Hopefully algorithms will get better on this platform. But a thing that I don't like content wise that I see on TikTok that Twitch people make is just like mouthing sounds. Because like if I'm a viewer and I see your TikTok and I don't see it's like content that you do um online like if you're doing like a a lip sync on twitch i'm like what is your like streaming content because short form content is totally different from long form because for twitch stuff i know for me like i'm fairly quiet in general and that's why like i have questions queued up just to keep me like talking but um what was i gonna say like long form stuff you have to be able to be like on for multiple hours so it's kind of like doing a long video shoot, right? When in comparison, a short form, you only have Oh! Did we F? Sheesh! Let's see. Okay, it says we're back. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Okay. Now, I, okay, because I have a hardwire on my laptop. She works pretty well most of the time, but sometimes the internet still crashes. And I don't, I don't know why she crashes when I have a freaking hardwire. Like, I bought, <laughs> I bought a long ass cord, so like, we didn't have to put in the walls or anything. I just have the wire taped in place down the hallway <laughs> from our living room. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Because like, long form content is totally different from short form. And I know a thing that I struggled with when I first started broadcasting was being able to talk. Like, even now, it's still kind of difficult to talk. Because I know the content creators that I really enjoy are people, like, cringe, but, like, I really like Ms. Kip's content. Mainly because, like, his personality is so, like, out there at times, where he's just always on. And it's insane to think about people who can do long-ass streams and still be, like, at 100%. I guess. Like, I really admire that. Oh, okay. Are my potatoes- do I have enough? Because one of my bi-weekly missions was fermenting potatoes. I don't have enough sash. I think it was 12? Yeah, it's 12. They're still fermenting. Hopefully they're done by the end of the week. Oh, I got a fruit. I'm all over the place. I haven't played in a week. <laughs> okay. Put the honey in here that we can use it for next time.
Okay, so let's go ahead and put our cranberries back, and then we can make our salmon berry our main food source. Salmon berries are actually kind of good. You can find them in some of the trails in Washington here. Donate a duck mayonnaise. If not, we're gonna keep one in there just in case. Okay, so let's go ahead and see which gemstones we needed for Emily. A ruby, topaz, emerald, jade, amethyst. Ruby, jade. Topaz, Emerald, I think that's all of them. Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, Jade, Amethyst. Yep! Cool, I actually remembered. <laughs> Sheesh! 9k. How am I supposed to get this bush? Why is there one there? It's such a tease. Like, it's actually aggravating. Tend to our barns and then deliver gifts because it is Tuesday. I was gonna say we probably need to buy feed because we only have 30, but Marty's not gonna be there. She's gonna be doing yoga today. Big sad. I'm gonna save the coffees until we do mining. of our potatoes are done. Nope, Sag. Okay, so let's see what we can gift. We can probably gift our potatoes. Oh, we do have minecarts. I forgot that we unlocked the minecarts last week. some fruit too because the kiddos like fruit okay 
Now we can start gifting. I shouldn't have gone this way. I should have gone to the mountain first, so... I totally forgot that that's the better route. Or maybe we can see if we can stop at the doctor's today, because he might be open. Or they should be open. I always forget to give... What's his name? The doctor guy <laughs> gifts because his locations are a bit harder to find. Hope he likes potatoes. Nice. Okay, he loves them. He loves potatoes too. Let's go. We're gonna hoard our iron ores because I don't want to get rid of those. To be honest. We all know I don't throw stuff away. Oh, he's outside. I wonder if he can harvest anything from his bin. It looks like the kiddos are going to school today. Let's go! He doesn't like melons? Dude. That's a big sad. It's an L right there. I got the food just for them, and they don't like the freaking melon. Are people saying the potato is fun? Like, do they like it? Does that mean they like it, or what? Caught Elliot today. I think that's his name. Author. I just call people by like their occupation. The author guy, Fisher guy. Sound the kind of, kind of person where like I won't forget a face, but names, but I can't do it. You don't eat it, dumbass. Pretty self explanatory, dude. Am I supposed to just give her the gems? Oh, yeah, okay, good. Let's go! Got our weekly mission done, so we can just focus on building up the farm now. I don't like the missions to where like you have to do stuff every day, like the hardwood one, where you like have to chop wood every day, and it, like, if you miss a day, you're screwed, basically. It's D-U-M. Oh, I can't chop those down, Sag. enough friends with Sebastian so I can go in his room. N not to be sound like a creep, but you know, I just want to gift him stuff.
See, he says his gift is great. He does not say the gift is fun. Being nice. And Linus is being nice. Linus should just make his own little farm outside his tent, dude. Okay, the only person left to gift is probably Shane, who's at work. And then the mom. <laughs> oh, her too, Pam. I always forget about Pam. Oh yeah, I don't think I can gift Shane because he's working. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I always forget to give Shane. At least he's at the bar. Now we just have the mom. Bagamal Z hair kid. And then the guy in the sewers. Oh yeah, I gifted her earlier. Can cube another question. Lost my mouse for a second. Oh. What advice would you give someone half her age? Well, I'm 22, so therefore an 11 year old. Um. Mm. <laughs> what 10 year old is gonna take your advice, dude? I, I guess like treat your friends well. Like don't don't be like a little shit. <laughs> Cause like when you're young, you're still learning how to like interact with people, I guess. So like, just don't be mean. Cause like when you're that young, like things stick with you. So like, just be nice to people, I guess. I think also don't be like scared to share what you like. Cause like I assume most Minecraft kids are like. 10 to 16. I think that's the main demographic. Um, but, like, just be nice. Don't be afraid to, like, be scared about talking about what you like. I was like, what was I doing when I was 11? Let's see, that's, like, 5th or 6th grade? Because I know when I was that little, I was so focused on, like, doing good in school. Not that it, like, took over my life, I mean, what life did I have as a 10-year-old? <laughs> um, but, like, I didn't have many friends when I was little. Mainly because, like, I never really, like, learned how to, like, be a good friend. In terms of, like, so I was very quiet, very shy. So, like, I was too scared to, like, talk to people. And granted, that was most likely, like, having um, undiagnosed severe anxiety when I was little. Like, looking back, I for sure, oh, dude. Something was wrong with me. <laughs> um, uh, like, kids have to deal with a lot these days. Because a thing that scares me a lot is, like, mass shootings. Because when I graduated, there was, like, they were a concern, right? They were happening, but not as common as they are now. Also, we're at a point where, like, there's mass shootings at like workplaces too, or public settings, and it's really scary and concerning. I think like if you're 11, just like be a kid, you know, have fun, be just be a kid. Like what you like, spend time doing what you like, hang out with your friends. Don't be mean to your friends. can you really say to a kid though that'll stick with them because like i know i don't remember much from my childhood like not a lot of things like stuck with me i guess i don't know 
it, it's weird to think about. Like, not that I'm old, I'm only fucking 22. But. It, it's. You see, like, the inspiration of videos where, like, you think just one, like, life motive or one, like, saying will drastically change your life, but in actuality, is validating yourself by, like, I guess consuming that type of content or ideology is not going to do anything unless you actually do something. Or, like, actually work towards your goals, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Because let's be honest, how often do people, like, repost those- Oh fuck, I don't want to sell my stuff. Like, repost or... Like, share a video to you where it's, like, super, like, fake inspirational video with, like, really sus. <laughs> sus. Really, like, cheesy, royalty-free music. And, like, how often do you take that, like, video to heart? Raise your hand if you actually, like, believe those videos. And think those people were successful because... They didn't have money already or something like that. Or weren't like already a step ahead in society. Like genuinely. Like how many people really come from nothing and then become something? I would say none. So I kind of want to go mining tomorrow. That way I can get some coal. I don't have much of anything. I'm gonna need more hives. So wood, coal, iron, burn, maple syrup. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to go mining tomorrow. Because I want to fill up my preserve barn. Because my goal is to have this whole section bordered with beehives by the end of the year. Um, I don't think there's anything else I'll need for tomorrow. We can maybe try- no, I want to go mining tomorrow. That's what I want to do. We can fill the comm center another day. Because honestly, gathering the items to donate is kind of boring. TBH. Coffee. Oh, best neighbor prize. Let's go. Oh, she gave me a sewing machine. Huh? Thought that I'm gonna use it too. Mm -hmm. More mail. Sheesh. We became better friends with Linus. Oh, Gus too. Fuck. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't need these pancakes. I keep on getting scam calls from like out of my state. Like earlier I got one from New York. I just got one from Pennsylvania. It's like, dude, why why? Why why are you calling me? I don't get it. It's also sad to think like why they keep calling random numbers because that means like those type of scams work on people and it's 
it's scary to think about how like how many lives have potentially been ruined and like how much money has been like stolen because of scammers. Like, it's funny because like my dad was watching a few of like the YouTubers who like intentionally call scammers or like intentionally like lead them on and like try and prank and goof them. And he was talking to you and he's like, yeah, I could do that. I was like, dad, just don't. I was like, please don't. That's cringe. <laughs> it's cringe content, but like it's also kind of good content. Oh, I should be petting my animals. I keep on forgetting. Oh, fuck. I keep on forgetting that I should be petting them. Actually showing them a little bit of affection, am I right? Who knew you had to treat your animals nicely? There's so much to do on the farm every day, like, it's hard to, like, dedicate enough time to mining. Head to the mines. It's a cold. We can get another question queued up. Let's see if- uh, Okay. What do you think of alternative medicines such as acupuncture or home homeopathy? I don't know. Like, I've never myself have gotten any of those, like, procedures done like the only supplements I take is like vitamins like actual vitamins like none of those like Alex Jonesy supplements or Joe Rogan shit none of that it's <laughs> that's gonna lead to a whole other topic um but to me do those types of procedures with your own discretion like do your own I guess research and don't just, like, consume studies or read articles that support it. Like, read stuff that goes against it. When in comparison, you should fully trust your government's, like, medical agencies. Like, your FDAs, your CDCs. Like, vaccination is not alternative medicine, is what I'm saying. So... You should not be treating it with skepticism. And that, that's all I want to say. Like, I'm pro-vaccine. I'm pro-vaccine mandates. I don't care. If it will lead to the end of a pandemic, go for it. I got my booster two weeks ago. I'm doing good. Still scared of future variants, but you know. Fully vaccinated and boosted, so... I have more protection against people who choose to not get vaccinated, so. Get another question, Kino, because I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to talk about it, it's just like people who are anti vax specifically for COVID, their our arguments are so invalid. It's based on skepticism and just empathy, or lack of empathy, rather. And just so, like, ideology, isolated ideology is where it's derived from, and it's very unfortunate to see that a lot of people are persuaded by it. Anyway! 
I know Hassan is still banned, but you know, we're not gonna be political Andy's guys. Uh, what object would you rescue rescue in your house if your house was on fire? My freaking laptop, dude. Um, because of everything, your phone and your laptop has so much of your personal information on it. Granted, theoretically, if there was a fire, like, it would get destroyed if everything burned down, right? But losing, like, all my, like, art stuff, losing all my homework files, losing... Because this laptop was, like, 2500 Like, just losing information, I guess, would be really devastating to me. Because most everything else is replaceable. Like, a lot of tech is replaceable, like your TV or, like, lights or your camera. But, like, losing, like, files and data is something you can't really get back. I mean, I guess if you like back your files with like a OneDrive or something. But all my files I keep on a USB. That way it doesn't um, take up too much memory space in my computer. <clears throat> like there was a time a couple months ago to where we had to like evacuate the house. And out of everything, that I grabbed. Like, so I have an emergency backpack. So it has like extra clothes, it has some food and snacks, it has a first aid kit in it. Like, I just have that by my bedroom door, like, ready to go. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed my phone, my charger. No, I had a charger in the emergency bag. Let's go. Um. Like, I didn't grab anything else. I just grabbed my emergency bag. Because we had to evacuate at that moment. Um, let's see. But yeah, like, if I had time to grab one thing, I'd grab the laptop. I was gonna say, when did the coffee wear off? Because it, I feel just as fast still. Yeah, I think this is normal speed still, but it feels faster, I don't know. Oh yeah, this feels faster. <laughs> I was too busy talking to like where I didn't know the speed change back. Yeah, so we're gonna save the coffees for when we mine them. I wonder what happens if you drink multiple coffee. Like if you just chug four coffees, do you go like four times as fast? Another question queued up. What was the last meal you cooked? Um, let's see. I usually don't cook much because, like, my parents get kind of annoyed when I use the kitchen. And also, they don't let me buy my own groceries. Like, they're, um, let's say controlling in that aspect. So, like, last time I cooked for myself, like, cooked, cooked, so, like, nothing instant, rather, was when they went to a holiday party the other day, which I didn't go to because COVID is scary. Anyway, <laughs> um, I made myself some salmon and then like baked salmon, nothing too fancy. But, like just season it with salt and pepper and just straight in the oven. Cause like, I like, I kind of like bland food. Like I don't mind it. Like if it has a little bit of seasoning, that's cool. But like, I don't like nothing that's too like seasoned. Like I don't like curry too much. I don't like up with a lot of like seasoning in it. Uh, what was I gonna say? So I made myself some baked salmon, just seasoned with some simple salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll do lemon and pepper, but I wasn't feeling it the other day. And then I made some ravioli with white sauce, and then I food processed some spinach, and then mixed that into my white sauce. That way, like, it looked like pesto, but it wasn't pesto, you know? I wanted to feel fancy. 
I like feeling a cheese ravioli. Like, I like a good sausage ravioli. Or, like, sausage with beef in it, but we just had cheese. That was sad. Yeah, like, if I ever cook for myself and, like, folks aren't home, I will always make fish. One, because my mom doesn't like the smell of fish. And also, like, fish... Fish is, like, my favorite protein. Out of everything, so... I will always choose fish. Like, if I were to go out to eat and there's, like, an option for fish instead of, like, steak, I'd probably go for, like, fish. Unless it was, like, a really good steak. Okay, so we could probably mine till, like, 10 o'clock because we do have the mine cards unlocked. Yeah, so probably just finish this level and then go back home. I like to be- I like- when I cook, I hate stove co cook stove top cooking. <laughs> Cause like, I hate like standing over the stove- the hot stove! Just stirring the pot, like, I hate it. I despise it. Like, if I could toss something in the oven, I'll be happy. Oh, I need to give him milk. Badge, I keep forgetting. Let's see what happens if I give him the scroll. Okay, reminds him of home. I guess that's cool. I guess that's Pog. Oh, I love a good lasagna. I need to make the lasagna. I like stuff with sausage in it. Because then you don't have to worry too much about like seasoning because like the sauce is, is already fairly seasoned, right? Yeah, I need to see what we need for the truffle oil maker. Slime, hardwood, and gold bar. Yeah, we can make a few. No, it's not like it really fit. Rip. Put one here. That way I can get some truffles started. We got five coals. That's bad. That's really bad. Looks like we didn't get more. Right? Lopez can go here. And the rest can be sold. So probably just mining the rest of the week. That we can get more coal. That we can build more cool stuff. Up 4k! Oh my god. Oh, 
I was talking about making special honey. Yeah, so if you plant flowers near the hives, you can get special honey. Or like flavored honey, and it sells some more, but like... I will always accidentally harvest the flowers, so at that point it's kind of like... Rip. <laughs> A lot of parsnips, man. Yes, we definitely gotta go buy more seeds today. We got 29k. We have enough for an auto collector, but I kind of want to hold off on that for now. Because we do need to buy more feed as well, along with seeds. Like, I want to try and buy the most expensive seed that I can within the time frame. Now that's a lot. Sheesh! <laughs> Okay, let's go buy our seeds. I should have really planted these trees better. Buy our seeds and then come back. And with our remaining money, we might be able to buy that auto collector and then feed. I don't think. Because we don't really need the house upgrade as of now, because it's mainly for. Oh, the cellar! Mm. Oh, we don't need it because we don't need to, like, ferment our wine just yet. We don't need the wine cellar, so that's fine. We can hold off on that for now. Open the night! Let's go. The cauliflower is 12 days. We don't have enough. We have 7 days in less. Potatoes we can do. Do more kale. Buy like at least 20 of each of these. And then top off with some garlic. I just realized you need 25k for the auto feeder. Okay, it's worth. There's less stuff that we can ferment later, but it's okay. We need that auto grabber. Oh, oh I already gave her two gifts. Really? Yeah, because it's hard to find Penny on Fridays. Along with the kiddos. Yeah, twenty five K. And then let's buy more hay with what we can. <laughs> We're broke again. Big sad, big mad.
No, I didn't mean to cut down that baby tree. I didn't realize like the range of the scythe was that big. time for mining today. A teensy bit. Okay, so we should plant our kale first. And then potatoes. move the garlic up top here. There we go. We're just gonna tend to our farm. Or we're at the farm, we're gonna tend to our barns. Just don't let them back in the coop. Oh, I gotta put my artic on it forever. Wasn't able to buy much feed, unfortunately. Oh, I gotta open the door for him. <laughs> there we go. This is lock him out. To get rid of some of these. There we go. Oh, sheesh! Wait, my inventory is too full. Oh yeah, we have enough potato juice. Cool. <clears throat> so we can go ahead and give that to... What's her name? What is her name? Pam!
Drop off my inventory. We're not gonna have the. We're gonna have like a little bit of mining if maybe if even today. We can maybe we probably have enough time to pop at the bar and deliver it to Pam. Probably what we can do today. I think we can put the fridge in here, yeah. Yeah. We need to save one truffle oil for donation. I think we need to save one preserve jar as well. This truffle oil makes bank. Like you can get rich off that shit. Pam should be at the bar where she always is. Yep, of course she's here. I did not just... Oh, no. Oh, no. I have to put in the kitchen? Fucked up. I don't want to reset the day. Man. And I, I can't check to see if I made more. I think I made just enough. Yeah, there's there's no way you can check without like taking it out. <laughs> I I don't want to reset. Well, we're we're just going to put them back in inventory. Cross our fingers that past Megan made some more. If not, then We'll just have to wait for that mission to come again to do it successfully. Oh, that's such a bummer, dude. I'm gonna go to bed because I'm mad. Yeah, I'm not gonna reset. We're gonna keep this file good. I'm gonna keep it genuine. Oh my god, I can't believe I flubbed. That's annoying. I can't believe I have loved like that, that's disappointing.
gonna see if I made extra, because if I made extra, they'd be done by now. They'd rather be done there tomorrow, probably. I don't think I did. That's aggravating. This is sad. And like I don't think I can reset to a previous day. I gotta I gotta commit. It's my decision. Where you have to place them in their house. It's so D O M. It's not fair. I forgot to check how much meat sells for Sag. Okay, we're gonna go mining. No, it's Friday. I gotta give people stuff. Scratch that. It's okay, we'll, we'll get that pan mission again. It'll come up. Oh, I forgot to gift the wizard something. So tomorrow I definitely want to donate to the comm center. Get some, some stuff in there. Elonis likes my food. We stand, Linus. No shot we're good enough friends with Sebastian. Yeah, no shot. Doctor's gonna be there. He's usually not there, Fred is. Oh, he is. Okay, cool. Got him in time. Oh, Pierre does not like garlic. <laughs> Okay. Not like I'll remember, I'm totally gonna forget, but... It's funny giving people items they hate. Oh, Evelyn does not like garlic either. Did not know garlic was so polarizing.
Does Clint like garlic? Okay, he thinks it's fun. I get. I guess he likes it. I know the kids are not gonna like it. <gasps> oh, he loves grapes! Oh my god! Okay, Jazz does not like grapes. Got it. I don't like grapes either. I think they're kind of mid. I like blueberries. Because, like, I like the texture of the seeds, but... Grapes? They're just big blueberries without the tiny seeds, and that just makes me sad. Why are you here? Um, that reminded me of something. Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds wonderful secret. Now, I know why you're here. It's a sign. <laughs> oh, I just dipped. Oh, yeah, because we had the crystal mission with her. I was like, why did I get this cutscene? There's something special about her. Our destinies will intersect. <laughs> Great, everyone has their stone. Now, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Slow, oh, take slow, deep breaths. Focus on your lungs. Visualize the pure energy flowing into your body with every breath. And when you exhale, feel all the tension and negative energy flowing out, leaving you more and more relaxed with every breath. Now, open your heart to the vib vibrational frequency of your stone. Do you feel anything? Nope. Just sleeping. Looks like the gemstones were put to good use. I was like, where's the mom at? But she's probably at the Jojo Mario. Yeah? Oh, we should see if Haley is up top. And then stop by Jojo. And then the sewer, and then the wizard. That's probably the best route we can take. There she is. Okay, she does not like grapes. Fine. How 
I forgot that everyone goes to the bar in Freddy's. annoyed that I gave her the stupid potato juice. Annoying. Oh, she likes garlic. Okay. It's weird how, like, the um, shop is blue. Because blue is not a color associated with food. It's weird how, like, the interior is really blue. I mean, it's supposed to allude to, like, the modern aesthetic. But it's still weird to see, like, a grocery store just in all blue. Give him grapes. Oh, doesn't the wizard need like void energy or something? I don't do any of the missions. <laughs> I always forget. There we go. That way I don't have to keep switching. Let's get a question queued up. What is something that you'll never wear? Knee high socks. I hate the feeling of socks. Because, like, just the texture is really scratchy and, like, I just feel like your socks get so sweaty and it's, it's not- it's not fun. Like, I don't walk around barefoot outside because that's gross and icky. Unless just asking for, like, deadness. But... Like, I always wear, like, slippers, because I don't like wearing shoes for too long, but, like, wear a shoe off in the house kind of household. Like, when I wear shoes inside. I mean, everyone else has house slippers, but those stay inside. Because, like, if you wear shoes inside, that's already kind of, like, a red flag. But, like, if you wear shoes on, like, the couch or the bed, no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Just don't be my friend, dude. It's like, do people not think about like all the like the shit and like actual shit you can step on outside? Just like it's icky. Yeah, it's icky. Yeah, but knee high knee high socks. Oh my god, the look of knee highs with shorts is like so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Like it's very like attractive, right? But like. I'd rather look at someone wearing it than me wear it myself, let's say. It's just just the feel of socks. And tights too, I don't like tights. Cause like I like tight clothing, but like stockings or like actual tights are a bit too like they're too tight on the body. Like some I like leggings, but like sometimes they're a bit too tight and it's like suffocating. Because I remember when I was little, the only time I'd wear tights would be for like school assemblies and that type of thing. Those weren't fun, so I just don't like the association with, I guess, tights rather. There's no mine carts here, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to book it to the bar. I don't know if the teenagers are still gonna be there because it's already 8 o'clock. I forgot to watch the time, Badge. Oh, she's closed! I 
wish there was like a run button or something. I mean, I know you can have coffee to make you run faster, but like, I wish there was like something, like a normal mechanic. Oh, they're still here. Cool. Oh, yeah, she doesn't like potatoes. I know Sebastian likes potatoes. Ah, oh, he likes it. Let's go. Let's see, she likes grapes. Nice. We're probably not gonna get that potato mission till next year's spring. Oh my god, that's so aggravating! Oh, we're too late. We can't. We can't fix it. So should have paid extra. Okay, now we know for future reference if there's a mission where I have to make or craft something, I should make extra just in case I flop. ferments fairly quickly surprisingly yeah I didn't make more the big sad get big mad Forgot to check how much mead and then truffle. Okay, we're mead and truffle. We need to check how much they sell for. Oh, okay. So then for cooking, needed rice. I think I'll just buy rice when I go to the store next. I know we need rice and then sushi. Because I think tonight I want to prep stuff that way we can donate to the comm center tomorrow. Okay, so let's see what we need to donate. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't need an iridium bar. Okay, so I need truffle and truffle oil. I think I put yeah, the one in here. Oh fuck! I think I used the large milks. Oh my god, I did! I forgot again. Okay, we need a duck egg, which we have one in the kitchen. Cloth. Got a cloth. Let's go grab 
A rabbit's foot? Okay, I know we need wool. I think we need wool. I'm gonna grab it anyway, just in case. I grabbed the duck egg before I forget. And then the rest is crops, I think. Yeah. Or a leak. We need a leak. Okay, we got a leak. Oh, two purple mushrooms. So we're going to need to go into the deeper level of the mines to get those. One dandelion. Cave carrot? Oh yeah, I didn't need the cave carrot because that one was good. We got we made the fried egg. Did I donate my poppy already? If not, we have to wait till fall or something to grow those. Oh, we have yet to donate any fish too. Okay. So Periwinkle, sea urchin. Don't have any of those. Oyster, muscle. Yeah, we need a muscle. We have an oyster. Free. Got a cockle. We have clams. And the rest you have to get through the bins. Okay, so fish, we need a wood skip. Do we not have one? Oh yeah, we don't have any. Huh. Walleye. Need a tuna. Oh, we only have one tuna? That sucks. Should have grabbed another one. Lapia. Should sort these. There we go. Because I think it puts them in alphabetical order. U R S T. Lapia. Tiger trout. Sunfish. Sturgeon. We only have one sturgeon. Shad. Sardine. Panfish was up here. Red snapper. Puffer fish, a largemouth bass, ghost fish, eel. I think I put in here. Did I not get any eels? Oh, I thought I did. Oh man. Okay. Chub. Okay, so we have our thing full. So we'll donate these all tomorrow. Yeah, I don't... Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we have enough time to do it tonight. So we'll do it top of the morning tomorrow. Oh, we got another cow! Nasso? Oh, okay, let's see how much stuff was worth. Meat is 200. Okay, that's fine. Shuffle 1k! That's insane! <laughs> okay, now we know how to make salads. 
Two. I mean, fairly simple. Just put the veggies in a bowl. Am I right? So we got the wheat. I don't know. I thought I got- Oh, I didn't get a rabbit's foot. I'm thinking of my other save files. That's why I keep, like, <laughs> getting tripped up. We got a sunfish. We got a shad. Also have the tigerfish. Sunfish. I think you can only get the woods gift from the secret woods. I think that's where you get it. Okay, we're close to finishing that one. Okay, get a wild eye. A bullhead. Did I miss one? Oh yeah, ocean fish. Okay, I was like, no shot. Oh, we'll be able to finish this one. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Got this one done at least. What'd we get? Dwarf totems. Eh. Kind of mid. Oops. Yeah. Okay, then we just need at least one large milk. That's all we need. Some more crops. Crops, okay. Nope. There we go. <gasps> we finished this one. We did it. Okay. This house was empty for years. The trees moved in, and so did we. Okay, let's go. Get my star. I oh, look at that. Getting there. I need to see which one needed. Oh, you can't open it. I think one of the other ones needed the truck oil. Does the store open at 8 or 9? 9, okay. Yes, yeah, so we can go back to the farm. Or actually, inventory is not that full, so I kind of want to just go straight to mining. And then we can check the farm at the end of the day, and then at the end of the day... Donate more stuff, or get stuff ready to donate for Sunday, tomorrow.
I'm just gonna copy. Let's go ahead and get a question queued up. Do you prefer home cooked or restaurant? It depends on the thing, right? Because if I'm going out to eat, like like a sit-down place, I would gladly choose dining out. But getting like delivery or takeout, it doesn't compare to like dining in. Because like you lose the presentation. It's also like been sitting for probably like a solid hour. Because like your delivery man has like other deliveries to do, so like your order is not gonna be priority, right? So like in that case, then yes, I prefer like home cook. But like if I have the option to like sit down and eat, gladly any day. Because like I know how to cook. It's just I don't season well. Like I think my taste buds are messed up. It's like my mom, she'd be like, hey, is this salty enough? I'm like, I don't know, sure. And then she adds like a little bit more. I'm like, it tastes the same. I'm like, I can't tell. Cause like, I, I was debating whether or not to go to like a vocational school and like do cooking. But like genuinely, like I can't taste that well. So I don't think I would have succeeded. Special slime. See if they drop anything. This got the little bobble. Ooh. Got a mallet. Probably sell that. One day I need to get all my mine items and then sell them. Because I just have them in that one chest. Because like you can't sell them normally. You can only sell them at the Adventurer's Guild, which I think is dumb. Because you can sh sell everything else but those items. It's, just, it's stupid. Okay, we can get another question queued up. What countries have you visited? I talked about this last time, but it's been Japan. That- I already did a- not a story time. But like, I've talked about it before. It was for a mission trip. I would definitely want to go again and do more touristy stuff. See more shrines. But yeah, it was- it was- it was a good trip. Would have been better if I went with friends versus family, but you know, that's how it is. Um, do you ever get annoyed with yourself? Not really. It was like a point in time where like I was more frustrated with myself. I think because I was just working myself too hard. Like right now I'm not working. I'm focusing on my schooling so I don't have like that outside stress to where like you don't have enough time to do work, right? But the only times where like I get frustrated or annoyed with myself now is when I, I don't do anything because I was going from like working 70 hours a week and having no time to where I have so much time now to like stay home and do whatever. And sometimes I'm like I should be like working more, I should be practicing more, I should be editing more, like I need to do this, this, and this, but like I think because I just got so mentally exhausted and drained from working so hard six months ago that we're like, I just need to like, relax and like, be okay with not doing anything. Which I, I'm getting better at, like, there's some days where like, uh, I stream and then don't do anything else, like I just laze around all day and then I'm like, that was stupid, you should have been working, or you should have been doing something else, but then I'm like, you know, this year, it's gonna be a break here for you. Like you need, you need to like calm down. You need to relax. You know, because I don't want to burn myself out. I guess.
And like, I also get- it's annoying to me how like, I'm fairly good at like, managing my anxiety. But then there's some days where you like, you just can't like, stop thinking about it. And those are like, the most frustrating because like, I know I'm fine. Like, I know how to like, healthily cope with stuff and like, take myself down. Not- that's not weird. But like, calm myself down rather. And then on the days where I don't, I'm just like, Ugh, this sucks. Like, why? Why am I not, like, feeling better quicker? <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is. You have good days, you have bad days, right? Let's get another question. Is there a dress code at your workplace? Uh, my past two previous workplaces were both food service, so yes, we had a uniform. I used to kind of, like, not care. Oh, no, let's not say that. <laughs> uh, following certain guidelines concerning dress code, I wasn't as concerned about, like, for example, like, wearing shorts. Like, not short shorts, but, like, something, like, right below the knee. I wasn't getting too, like, upset about, but since both workplaces work with, like, ovens and, like, hot things, it was explained to me that it's important to make sure people are wearing proper uniform in terms of, like, long pants. In like the work shirt because like let's say for example if you're handling a hot food or item and then you drop it like if you drop it on bare skin you're fucked like bye bye skin right but if you have pants on then it's better right because then there's a barrier between you and the hot item and also to not wear leggings because um it was a pizza place right so we'll just say pizza. If you drop a pizza that's right out of the oven and you wear pants, like the pizza is not gonna like seep through the fabric. But if we wear leggings, since the fibers are so small, you're more likely or it's more likely to like seep through your leggings and like get onto your skin. Uh, because my manager was telling me how there's one time like a girl dropped a pizza on her leggings and like the legging had like melted to her leg. Because it's like polyfiber, right? And I was like, ooh, that's scary. <laughs> I was like, no way I'm wearing, like, leggings again. I mean, not that I- no, I didn't wear leggings to work ever, because, like, I didn't want to get touched, I would say. That was a nice way of putting it. Um, and, like, you explain that to people, and some people, like, take heed to that warning, and some people don't listen. Because, like, ultimately, work uniforms are for your safety in that context, right? It's also, um, I remember there was, like, a huge, like, debate. It was, like, a hot topic when I was in school of, like, school uniforms. Like, people being, like, allowed or not allowed to wear, like, tank tops or shorts. And then it's also kind of, like, how can we let the athletic kids wear, like, their jerseys or their short, like, spandex shorts in the classroom? But, like, not let the other students do so? And, like, that sparked, like, a whole debate. It led to like this dress code protest that was not a protest. <laughs> it, was, it was the stupidest shit. Um, it was just people during passing periods standing outside the school with signs. And they had to get like. It wasn't violent or anything, but they were like basically skipping class and they got. They didn't get. Uh, I assume some people got suspended. But then also like. Some students were just like put in detention or whatever. Cause like you do have the right to protest, but like if you're protesting on like like private property, which like your public school is still considered private property to an extent, you have to get a permit. Like if they were on the sidewalk, then that's fine. But since they're on school grounds, they weren't allowed to. Um. But anyway, like I think people should be able to wear whatever you want. But also, a really good argument I heard from a teacher. Because everyone was talking about the like the mini protest thing. They were like, well, basically, you should treat school like your workplace, right? You're there to learn. You're building relationships, right? Like, would you really wear, like, short shorts or, like, a really skinny spaghetti strap tank top to work? And I'm like, oh. I never saw it that way. I guess that does make sense. Not saying that people should cover up, because that's not a good sentiment to share. But like, wear whatever you want in your private time. In public, it's fine. But also, keep in mind that school is a somewhat professional setting. 
Because people wear different things for different reasons. And like, I hated when like, guys would wear the tank tops where they like cut down to here so you could see basically like their nipple and their whole ass armpit. Like, I found that gross. One thing I never understood is how like in every other food service place like you're fully covered up wearing like pants and long sleeve or whatever right but like the drive through coffee stands where they have like the bikini girls just want to say i love them they're cool but also like how because the reason why you can't wear like a tank top in a kitchen is because like you don't get your sweat on shit, right like how come they can be in like their little coffee stand and not get like dinged for like improper food handling. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Because, <laughs> like, you know, like the cliche, oh, I forgot I had to tend to the farm. You know, the cliche to where, like, it's like a greasy guy. In a wife beater white tank top in the kitchen. But then like, and that's not okay, but like how come people can be in basically underwear and then cooking with proper food safety? Another reason why I don't like getting coffee from places as much is because since they're not directly handling food, they don't wash their hands very often. Like, there was one time, oh my god, I didn't say anything because I had a doctor's appointment, so like, I was just going in and out. I went to a coffee place that has a green logo, let's say. And I had a mobile pickup order, so like, I got my order. No, I walked up to the counter, I was like, oh, I have an order for my name, right? And the lady was handling trash, like, she was emptying the trash can. And she said, like, okay, I'll grab it. And then she, without washing her hands or sanitizing even, like... He hands me my drink, and I'm just like, okay, thank you. Like, I, looking back, I should have said something, because that's honestly disgusting. Like, even though, like, it's not directly touching, like, the drink itself, you're still touching the cup. You were touching the rim. Because it was a cold drink, so you're supposed to drink it from, like, the little sippy cup top they have, right? But it was still, like, gross. Like, does it not click in your brain that you just touched trash you just touch trash and then you're touching my drink like what are you doing i should have said something not that like i want to get people fired but like i don't want people to get sick you know that's just my concern oh fuck it's 150 okay i gotta i gotta go to bed go home go to bed oh saved Oh, just in time, baby! Ooh! Look who we got! Ooh, complete breakfast. TBH, I'd rather just eat my crops then cook food. Like, it seems like a waste. You appear once sashimi. Okay, we gotta buy more seeds, too. We have, like, nothing. Why can't I pick it? Oh, my inventory's full, huh? Can we get rid of anything? Really? Oh, I do have a poppy.
And we're only going to be able to buy garlic and then parsnips for the rest of the seeds. Because everything else takes minimum six days. Which is a-okay. So then when we're heading to buy more seeds, we can donate stuff to the comm center. Yeah, I really don't think I made an extra potato. Oh my god, I didn't. I screamed, dude. Not actually, but you know, it's still aggravating. That was not a big brain move. That was an L moment. some cauliflower. I'm also gonna have to transfer some crops here. That way I just have them ready to go. We oh, also have to buy feed too. So let's save that one large milk that we can donate. the wrong thing okay so let's see what we need what else we need to donate okay so we have a poppy I need catfish and carp. Carp. And then bream and a bullhead. Okay, and then the rest is just crops that we need to donate. I think yam is the winter root, right? Oh, that's a winter root. Oh, it's. I don't think I. I think I fermented them. Yeah. We got the yam. We also donated the ten hay. We need wheat. Got ten wheat. Potato. Cabbage, we don't potato. Pumpkin is a fruit, pepper, parsnip, melon is a fruit, eggplant, 
watermelon. Oh, we did have some flowers. Okay. Check off. I forgot that I put them there. I'm, I thought I didn't grow any. I was like getting upset that I didn't. But we did, so that's plus. Like corn, cauliflower, blueberry, and bean. Let's organize these. Okay, we got bean, eggplant, corn, bean. Red cabbage, I think, is this season. Tomato. Press this fruit. Got a pepper. And blueberry. And three apples. We only have one apple still, unfortunately. Okay. So let's go buy some hay from Marty. Oh, freak. I almost <laughs> kicked a cord. Okay, I have. I absolutely need to buy an apple tree today. I totally forgot. We, we were supposed to do that like weeks ago. Oh my god. I totally forgot about the apple tree. Let's save at least 10k. Stop! <laughs> okay, let's go get that apple tree. coffee oh she loves coffee you love her I'm only gonna buy one tree I also will need rice for the the sheep Okay. Yeah, the only thing I need left mainly is gonna be the fish and then the crab pot items. I probably will buy some crab pots today. Let's go! Beet grow. Kinda cool. Got the last large milk. Ooh, cheese press! We might be able to finish this one today. Whoop. Ooh, love a sprinkler. Yo, we are going to we are going to be able to finish this one. <laughs> I just got too excited this why I flipped. Oh my god, we get the greenhouse now. Holy shit. Holy shit.
Well, it's a game changer, baby. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. Go, let's go. Your yeah, rabbit's foot, we still need. I'll also finish this one too, I guess. Ooh, 30 bait? Okay, let's get our star. go okay and then this one is just donating money ten k five k twenty five k okay so I kind of want to see which season the eels come up in I haven't caught any eels oh no I thought I did. Sh shit. Oh no, what season are eels in? Okay, well, either way, we're fine. We are a okay. I'm gonna go buy your crab pots. If we can even afford them, because they're either I think they're twelve hundred or eight hundred, one of the two. Let's see, Ooh, fifteen hundred, Sag. That's fine. Let's see, inventory's not that full. Hmm. I only bought one apple tree. Yeah, eel is a nighttime fish in the ocean. I don't know which season. I kind of want to go back. Place these items. I think eels are during fall, yeah? buy seeds. I need to buy seeds. Oh my god, please still be there. Please, please, please. I know it's four o'clock and you're probably on your union break. Oh my god, thank god, thank god. Here, buying parsnips because that's like the cheapest shit. We're broke! <laughs> Literally one coin left. Oh my god. 
I never had that... That little... Then I want to chop down some trees. I wonder if like trees will go right right next to each other. Like I think it needs at least like one space in between for it to grow properly. I think I'm gonna just be planting seeds in summer and then fall, and then winter I think I'll start my orchard and ponds, just so we can make sure we have enough wood to get us through all those seasons. I'm just gonna keep planting seeds. Because doing this is a lot better than waiting for trees to grow in the woods. We also have the corral area, I think it's called. Yeah, I also need to get crops for here too. Any ferment flour? Sap? No. Leak? No. You salmon berry then. There we go. We need to make sure we fill this up with materials before we end day today, that we don't forget again. Yeah, they don't have any food. Sorry. This is why, I like, I want a pet, but I also don't want one. Like, I feel like I would generally forget to do stuff. Which is not good. Like, I don't want to, like, neglect my pet. You know what I mean?
Can I plant my tree here? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. We'll just place it there. <laughs> I'm gonna place the cake in here because we can always re gift that later. Gonna place everything in here for now. Go ahead and place this beehive. And then, yeah, so last week, or the last week of the season, it's probably just gonna be probably more mining to get more material. Yeah, because I don't have much coal. We got 17. We can make some, I guess. Two more hives down. I just want to fill this border. And then the border down here. This along this inner edge. And then along that side, that border. Basically, I don't want to put hives where it'll block the crop so where like I won't see it. Or like it'll block like where I can cut through a field to get somewhere faster. <gasps> yes, up the greenhouse. Oh, we're gonna have to set that up too. I forgot. So cool. 18k! Yay! Man. Hey. Let's go ahead. Hey. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it a day here. I will, like I said, my channel is currently on vacation mode because it is winter break, so there's gonna be more people just not working because my mom, since she works for the school, they're on winter break. So she'll be on more. I'm trying to be considerate in that aspect. Um, so yeah, if I will stream, it will be on the weekdays at like 11 a.m. still. I might do evenings some days, we'll see. Oh yeah, if not, I'll see you when I see you, but probably tomorrow. At 11 a.m. when we're starting. So yeah, hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you one later. Bye.